This is the Q3 by Matricom. We're going to unbox it real quick. Ooh, $25 off. Use this code and the remote doesn't feel as cheap as other remotes that I've tested and takes two AAA batteries. Before we get the big guy out, oh, yep. We got batteries, HDMI cable, the power source, and a tiny little sword. Yeah, yeah. I'm guessing it's a lock pin. Okay, let's take a look. And there we go, G. So obviously with the title saying it's an Android TV set box, it's plasticky, it's really light. So it's gonna be one of those Chrome casting devices but with Android operating system and I think it's running 7.1. So it's actually one of the newest versions than other set boxes that I've reviewed. But right away you see two USB ports and HDMI, Ethernet, you actually get an optical drive. This is the power and that's the reset. That's where this sword comes in and you stab it right in there. You got a micro SD slot there to expand the memory. Now the G looks like it's going to be lighting up. So I'm going to plug this in the back of my monitor. Okay, I'm going to plug the HDMI and hit the power. There we go, there's the glow. Let me show you what's happening here. Press home and menu at the same time. I'm going to press that process so far that I'm going with. Welcome, press OK. Working. Language. Go next. Very responsive. Wireless. We got a Android keyboard popping up. System update. We'll check later. So we're obviously inside. We got home. Vid oh, I like the little switch that goes to it. Music. Apps. There's a Google Play Store. We can sign into that. We'll do that in just a bit. I just want to keep looking at more live TV. So if you have Sling, SPV TV, Pluto, Crackle, and you can add more. Of course, see, you can sign into Facebook. You got Cody, the Metrocom Store, and they have their own applications. Go into YouTube real quick. Let's check out the new Galaxy S9. As you can see, this is just plugged into my monitor. Let's back out. Now, when I go to the wide mode, it definitely stretches it out. There's even themes that you can set this. So let's set there's this, that, there. It's kind of cool. You can switch it up. All right, so how you use the mouse, not wand style. You get to move it with the little <laughs> arrow keys here. I'm going to check for the update, and we'll let that do this thing. And I'll sign in, and I'll put some apps that I would want to test on. Okay, I've signed in here. And I got the whole entire Play Store right here on my TV. We can download Pac-Man, one of my favorites. Now I can just press on this cursor, and there's a cursor right there. And it's a little slow. And the next thing I'm going to do, go to Cody. Now, so now we're getting the full quality. Your library is currently empty. And you can see you get your TV shows, music, music videos, TV, radio, add-ons. And then you also got your download right here, the Pac-Man. And another thing we might be able to do is plug in our game controllers. This is our little USB. Okay, I plugged it in. So let's hit the power button. I felt it vibrate. And we can automatically already move the cursor, as you can see, just from the remote control itself. So you'll be able to play certain games with it. Go down to games. And you can hear the volume control here. And you can see down, up, down, right, up, down, up, left. So now I'm going to press home here. And it goes right to home. You know what I just realized? This also has a G on it for Game Sir. This is a Games Controller. I'll have it also linked. So you got the whole Google Play Store in your set top box here. So whatever apps that you need. So you can watch all your favorite movie shows. Let's go to YouTube. Hey, what is up guys? I'm KBHD here and in now the I am going to press PhD home with the Galaxy S8. And home just goes home and it stops the video play. So that's how it's going to work. You see all the ports plugged in. It has not made any noise. It does not feel hot at all. As you can tell, it's pretty small, so you can hide this behind TVs. And to turn it on and off, I'm just going to click onto it once. And that might be a sleep mode. Let's see what my TV says. Yep, no signal. And now we're gonna hit the power and see how fast it turns on. So three, oh, there we go. That's how fast it's gonna be to boot right back up. All your apps will be here. Go to settings, Android 7.1.9, Nougat. So as you can tell, it's on an official. Your system's up to date, 7.1, just to make sure that it's, everything's good. You got DLNA, AirPlayer. So even if you have an iPhone, you can still do these kind of things without having to worry about having an Android device for all tools entertainment. So this is gonna be one of those, oh, there's Chromecast. Let's see what else we can see. So they might have in applications that are no longer being offered on the Google Play Store. Oh, there we go, there's a prompting. 
when installing. So it is installing as an APK, so it's not off the Play Store. So what I just noticed, you don't even have to sign into your Google account. You can use this without this social video editors. So yeah, you can install all these movie apps, games, of course. And then you have other toggles on the top, which is to turn off notifications or bring down your notifications. And then that's to kill applications running in the background. That is your Wi-Fi. Over this is your Wi-Fi networks. Over is your expandable memory if you have one plugged in. And then you got your Bluetooth. So you can do Bluetooth devices like keyboards, mouse, game pads. And then you got your settings here on the side, screensavers and all the useful things that you would know on Android. And then your date. That's what it looks like. It's pretty easy to do. You can search for stuff, organize it how you want to do by adding more apps to it. So pretty much this is an Android TV, but with the whole entire Google Play Store, because usually a lot of the apps and games don't want to run on the Android TV, like the Shield that I have. So you can download apps and games that are not even compatible. As usual for the first app, it is a live wallpaper. It is called Hex Shader. Clearly you see the wall. So there you guys have it. If you want for yourself, find it in the description down below. And as always, thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time. Later.